The Lambeau Field College Classic was just that on Saturday afternoon as the Badgers opened their season with a thrilling 16 to 14 victory against the LSU Tigers. Rafael Gaglianoni with three field goals, including a 47 yarder that proved to be the game winner with 347 to play. And the Wisconsin defense was electric all afternoon, including in the final minute, getting a game ceiling interception from safety Dakota Dixon. We'll hear from several of the victorious Badgers. We'll also get up close with Jim Leonard, the new defensive backs coach, the former All-American and 10-year NFL vet. And of course, we'll hear from head coach Paul Christ. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Harris will work from the shotgun. And they'll fake a jet sweep. Harris will run left and get stoned at the line of scrimmage. The combination of Vince Beagle and T.J. Watt taking care of business and stopping Harris Lines are set. Here's the snap, and the kick is in the air, and it is good, and the Badgers are first on the board here at Lambeau Field. Motions left to right on third and two. Here's Fournette off the right side, hit and stopped. Short of the first down, Beagle busting into the backfield to slow down Fournette. Lines are down. Here's the snap, spot. Kick is away, and it is good. Gaglianoni is two for two. And the lead is six for Wisconsin. He kicked two game winners a year ago. Lines are down, snap, spot, kick in the air, and it is good! He hit it! Rafael Gaglianoni kicks Wisconsin into the lead. Just going out there, just kind of lining up. It was kind of in the middle, so was, you know, this, this is good. I, I, I like kicks in the middle, and you know, I, I knew it was within my range, so I was just really, I knew I put in the work, and I know that that the coaches were putting me out there, that I just had to, you know, kind of have fun with it, you know. What well, us as kickers, we don't have as many opportunities to go on in the field, so I'm really trying to this year just kind of enjoy every moment and just live in, you know, just to be out there with my brothers was a blessing, so just kind of swing easy. I saw the hold was perfect, the snap was perfect. I know the protection always got me, so it was really just up to me to make that kick, so once it comes down to that and they make it that easy for me, it's pretty, it's a lot easier to make kicks for sure. A defensive winning! Brought to you by Jack Sitchi. To the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Goodbye. Touchdown, Corey Clement. Pressure coming from Beagle. Oh, he was shot out of a cannon. Win number 10 for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle, Hy-Vee proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. By UW Health, UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. There are 5,757,564 residents of the state of Wisconsin. At Pick and Save, we're proud to be here for every one of them. Keeping the quality up and the prices down. Because 14,023 of those Wisconsinites are us. Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on groceries. Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry, no. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialists at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. It's no secret Quick Trip has the fresh food you need every day. 
From chips and buns to ripe produce and... Hey, buddy. You cooking out? Yeah, I am. Well, then you're gonna need brats, hamburger, hot dogs. You bet. Premium fresh meat, now at Quick Trip. Right now, Johnsonville Brats, two packages for $7. Premium meats at your neighborhood Quick Trip. You saved me a trip. Hey, wait for me. It's game one of 12 in the regular season, but it's a game that I'm sure it's safe to say that the Badger fans who were here and certainly the Badgers who played and coach won't soon forget the 16 to 14 victory against LSU. Let's check out some of the highlights and we'll also hear from some of the victorious Badgers. Darius Geis slot to the left. Geis will go in motion and they will give it to Geis running off the right side. Oh. The ball's knocked out. Sheehy trying to pounce. The Badgers will have it just outside the 36 yard line of LSU. And there's the first turnover the Badger defense forces here this afternoon. The Magali wing left, motions right. Second down and goal. Here's the give to Clement again straight ahead. Breaks to his right. Clement driving to the goal line. Corey Clement. The first touchdown of the year, and the Badgers lead 12 to nothing. Snap to Houston, back to throw, tight pocket, firing left side, caught by Fumagalli at the 50, and brought down at the 47 of LSU. Houston back under his center, takes the snap. He'll give it to Ogumba Wally to the 45, slips through the 40, 35, still going, and bounce to the turf by Kendall Beckwith. Inside the 35 of LSU, he kicked two game winners a year ago. Lions are down, snap, spot, kick, in the air, and it is good! He hit it! Rafael Gaglianone kicks Wisconsin into the lead with 347 remaining. Badger defenders dancing around the line of scrimmage. Snap to Harris, back to throw, under pressure. He spun away from Beagle. Harris throws to the left, and it's picked up! It's picked up by Dakota Dixon! Oh, what a big play by the defense, which has been spectacular all day long. And Dakota Dixon picks him off late at Lambeau Field. And there is a big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers here at Lambeau Field in Green Bay as the Badgers defeat LSU 16 to 14. You know, they did what they were supposed to do, in the sense that they didn't try to do too much. And uh, knew we were facing a really good offense, and obviously uh, a heck of a you know, running back, and, and felt like they had a number of weapons. I thought the corners competed on, on some balls down, down the field, and, and I thought that we you know, were able to do a good job of tackling and, and getting guys to the ball. And, and, uh, I think it's a, it's a good chance. You know, at the end of the year, you can say who we were. And this was one game. I hope they did some really good things to start. You know, a lot of guys had to step up today, and it was pretty cool just to see, you know, our team pull together um, such a such a great win. Um, you know, it's always interesting to see, you know, where you're at the first week, and uh, I think there's a lot of hard work and, you know, dedication throughout these, you know, couple months leading up to this game that we were able to, you know, pull it out. My sister popped her head out, and it was like, I, it was pretty cool just to hold her and just be with my mom there. Um, it was a pretty special feeling. We found out a lot of ourselves today, and there's obviously a long way to go as a team and as a defense but um, we're ready to do it. And I think this was a great stepping stone. It was a great way to just start the season, get us off on the right foot, and we just have to keep building from here. Because we know how good we can be, but it's up to us. Palacio's defense, even before this game, was we want to control the line of scrimmage. And I mean, obviously, what, what, better, what better way to uh, kind of make your, make your mark than do it against a, an amazing rusher and running back like Leonard. It's competition within this, uh, this league that we're in, you know, college football. So uh, you don't want to be under anybody's wing. So, uh, you know, Leonard's a great running back. But uh, I found that today's 
uh, more of on a competing level, uh, respect him as a running back, but I got more respect for my team and my linemen up front uh, to know that we could put forth you know, great effort today. I felt the Lambo magic when I jumped into the crowd. So the, that was that was one of those things where you look on TV and you just want to you know, picture yourself one day doing that. And uh, it was an awesome feeling. I'm from Chicago and I, I even jumped up there. So it was really cool. Um, you know, I don't I don't think you can find a better atmosphere to play a college game. In. We haven't played, you know, young team, I think. And, um, you know, just having that confidence to know that we can play with those teams, I think it's special and uh, we keep going with that. Just to look on our guys' faces after a great win. Um, we've played other shit before. We, we've went. We've been winning, and, and we end up losing. Uh, and just today was just something great. Uh, just to look at our guys and all the hard work we put in, it, it's really tremendous. And uh, I really was. Ha I was really happy, and I, I couldn't wait to celebrate with these guys when that when that clock hits zero zero. It was probably Mark's up there towards one of the best days of my life. Um, just running out the tunnel, I saw my parents right away. I knew where they were sitting, so. After the game, um, knew exactly where they were, saw them, just so happy. Tried to jump up there and get to them, but it was kind of rowdy out there. Um, but I got my Lambo leap in, so it was really cool, uh, really cool moment to spend with the fans. And uh, just because they played such a big part in today, um, like I said, you, you honestly could not hear the snap count. Uh, the tight ends and tackles were looking at the ball, so they definitely gave us the edge today. I'm just so happy and, and just so so thrilled to have our fans today. We don't have to have the big four star, five star, whatever star. I don't care what star you are. At the end of the day, we're we're a blue collar, blue collar. Have a chip on our shoulder. We're gonna we're gonna come out. We're gonna work. Uh, Chris went out. We had Ryan Conley step in, and the wheels keep turning. So at the end at the end of the day, we all count on each other, and, and we gel on and off the field, which makes a huge deal for us. My family being out here and kind of you know being able to share that moment with me after the game, kind of going and hugging them after the game, just knowing that they were here for that and share that moment with me. And you know, it was just pretty special to share that moment with my brothers and my teammates. You know, we're putting, the, putting all the hard work and everything to get to this moment. So it's really just really happy for everything, the way it played out. I wasn't thinking about dropping it. I was thinking about catching it. Uh, but I was shocked, you know, I was just like, he actually let it go. If it wasn't for the pressure, uh, because Six was a good scrambler, he's a, he's a pretty quick quarterback. Um, obviously, he's good on his legs. So if it wasn't for the pressure, who knows what the outcome of this game could have been, you know what I mean? So I'm just very happy that the pressure got there and the ball was fortunate enough to come my way. With this level of intelligence, it's a supercomputer. With this grade of protection, it's a fortress. And with this standard of luxury, it's an oasis. Introducing the completely redesigned E-Class 4MATIC. It's everything you need it to be and more. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Madison was going to be home either way for me. Uh, my family, my wife, my kids, we were here. Um, the coaching was kind of the second piece. Uh, I was always interested. Didn't know if I wanted to go that direction, but the respect I have for Coach Chris, uh, you know, I took the opportunity, and it's been a lot of fun. I'm not a big yeller. Um, I'm big on teaching. That's that's what this is all about to me. It's coaching, is teaching, and you know, getting guys to understand, especially this position, playing defensive back, is, is confidence. It's believing in yourself, believing in your ability, and then. You know, validating that through your film study and, and what you show the guy. I expect a lot. I've seen great defensive back play, and, and I know what to expect. And I think the guys are trying to be clear with the guys on, on, on what that is. You know, he's played with so many greats. I mean, he played with Darrell Reeves. He played with um, Champ Bailey. He played with uh, Joe Hayden. I mean, he played with so many good corners that, you know, he, he actually throw on the film and show us, like, a lot of amount of plays where, you see Coach Leonard back there. The film doesn't lie, and you know him being able to pull that up. I mean, it kind of is, is a, an extra plus you know, as far as us learning as a group. You have instant credibility in the room when you've done it and done it at a high level. So obviously, I play off of that a little bit and uh, you know try to show them guys that I played with, guys that have been around, and just the day-to-day -day process that they had, what made them successful, and especially the DBs. You know, they want to be good. They want to make plays, and why not show them the best uh, that that have ever done it. Kickers away, a high floater. Leonard waits for it. You'll catch at the 35. Running across the 40. Straight ahead. Leonard the 45. Still up to the 50. Leonard 45. He's to the 40. Leonard the 35 gets a block. Leonard's gone. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Liz Thompson. I always had to find another way. You know, there's playing the playbook, and then there's playing football. And getting guys to understand that situations on the football field 
they change. You know, they change. Maybe you have to have five or six different ways that you get something done because based on your talent, based on your ability, you know, if you're a, if you're a one and done type of player, then in a lot of situations you're not going to have success. So I think I try to carry that over to the guys. Just there's a lot of ways to win. There's a lot of ways to be successful individually. You got to find what works for you. Um, that's a big part of my coaching style as well. I think when you look at his body of work that he's done here and then in the NFL, and you see the size and stature that he has now, you know, I mean, of course everybody wonders, like, how, how in the world did he do it? But it gives us all confidence. And I think at this position that we play, you got to have, you got to have a, a very high level of confidence because there's going to be some times where you lose some reps and there's going to be times when you win reps. You know, you never get, never get too high, never get too low. And I think he's the perfect example. I mean, he truly believes in himself. And it, when you watch the film of him playing football here and then in an NFL, you can see that. I mean, the size, none of that stuff never mattered to him. And that's how we approach every day um, in, in, that, in that room. I mean, in the corners room, everybody just tries to have fun, you know, be confident, you know, learn from our mistakes, learn from everything, and, you know, as far as the next day, move forward and uh, try to find ways to get after it. I didn't come back here for any sort of legacy, anything like that, as far as coaching. It was, I felt like I could bring value to this program and value to these kids, and I love to coach, so that's why I'm back. But, yeah, you do have those flashbacks every once in a while, and, you know, seeing Father Mike doing, doing different things like that, uh, it has been a, a great experience. days of Nissan's bottom line summer event. Now save big with 0% for up to 72 months on 13 models and no payments for 90 days. Plus get up to 3,000 bonus cash or zero in on a low 189 per month lease on road. Hurry, offers end soon. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! There are 5,757,564 residents of the state of Wisconsin. At Pick and Save, we're proud to be here for every one of them. Keeping the quality up and the prices down. Because 14,023 of those Wisconsinites are us. Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on groceries. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step-in-step -step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Introducing, it's what Mercedes-Benz has been doing since 1886. Introducing the world to the first automobile. Introducing over 100,000 patented breakthroughs. Introducing innovations in performance, safety, and pure driving pleasure. This year, we're introducing the youngest, most dynamic lineup in the world. All from the car company that needs no introduction. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. This senior salute is brought to you by Hyundai. As a true freshman, you don't really know what you're coming to expect, and I guess now it's kind of our job to, you know, fill the new guys in on what the program expects out of them. And you know, I guess in the specialist room, we just try to come in every day and be lunch pail guys, and we just gotta keep instilling that motto because that was the motto instilled in myself. So that's what we got to keep doing for the young bucks. In any game, we'll get anywhere from. You know, whether it be one to ten reps or something like that, you know. So offensive line, defensive line, they're going to get anywhere from 50 to 70 plays a game. Whereas, you know, we're getting like those 10. So if we mess up on five plays and five aren't good, we're going to be 50% right there. And that's, you know, not a good game. If one of those guys mess up and they're getting the 50 to 70, you know, for five plays, they're 90% plus, you know, which is a great game. We just don't get as many reps as everyone, and we just have to make each individual one count. And whether we have the best rep beforehand or the worst rep, we just got to go back to the next one, knowing that we got to get our job done. Snap the Meyer, pressure fairly light, kick is in the air, the Gunners racing down the field. It'll hit inside the five and checks up perfectly. 
Down at the four-yard line of Rutgers is getting down there. The long snapper, Connor Udelhoven. I'm in biological systems engineering, and then I guess in the branch, I'm in food engineering off of that. I wanted to work with food regardless or within that route, and I met with an advisor on campus and found out that there was food engineering as an option. So that's been a pretty cool major for me just because uh, with biosystems, you kind of get a taste of a lot of different things. We get a little bit of mechanical engineering in it, food science classes. You're seeing a lot of the same people because our major's smaller, but you're also not, it's not like every class is the same. You're really getting to be multifaceted and, and learning, which is really neat. I grew up, you know, watching Badger games here. Since I was four, my cousin and I, um, we've been coming to games with, with our dads. And, you know, ever since we were four, I guess both of us looked at each other and were like, we need to go here, you know? So it's, I guess it's always been a dream of mine to come here since a young age. So being here, you know, I've always wanted to go to school here and playing football has kind of been an icing on the cake. This senior salute is brought to you by Hyundai. Just the experiences, you know, going to, to my first bowl game my freshman year, Houston, Dallas, playing in some unbelievable stadiums and meeting some really cool people along the way. I just think it's it's a it's been a once in a lifetime experience and I've been reflecting a lot just because it's my last year and I feel like I get I I had a, a college experience that not a lot of people get to get to have and I feel just I mean I feel blessed about it and I'm really excited to to finish up the fourth year. As far as kicking goes, biggest thing is if I can if I can put the defense in a good position, I feel like I've done my job. So I get pretty amped up when when our kickoff cover team can stop a team inside the 20 and help our defense out. That's that's when I know that I did a good job and the cover guys did a good job as well. And if you can kick them deep and tackle the returner, then that's an added bonus, right? It's a bonus for me. I don't think it's a bonus for my mom. I think she's kind of tired of it. Uh, I've been told many times to stop doing that, but you just kind of get caught up in the moment. You know, I didn't get to tackle in practice, so I got some contact eventually. And it will go left to right as we see it. North to south of Camp Randall Stadium, and Endicott's kick is in the air, and he poked it. This will hit the back line of the end zone. That'll be a touchback. I'm a communication arts major. My mom, throughout high school, always raved. Uh, she was a communications major at Northwestern. She's always like, you should do it, you should do it. And I'm like, yeah, we'll see. Found out my mom was right. I want to do stuff uh, in the future that is a lot of person-to-person -person communication and, and contact like that. And so communication major just gave me a lot of really good classes to work on, on that kind of stuff and marketing, sales, all that real world experience. Met some great people and professors and you know, like you said, it's just important as athletics. You can't go anywhere else in the country and say that you've played in, in Houston and Dallas and Lambeau three straight years, go to three bowl games. It's just, uh, it's, it's truly, it's humbling and it's just been an unbelievably awesome experience. Good or better? The Hyundai Tucson versus the Ford Escape. Estimated fueling costs, the Ford's higher. Whoa. Estimated routine repairs, the Ford's higher. What's happening? And in fact, Guys? Hyundai has the lowest five-year cost to own of all brands for 2016. So again, Ford's higher. Guys? That's really high. Very funny! Ha <laughs> ha! Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2016 Tucson from Hyundai. training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape I have a bit of advice it's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout my advice be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk it has the perfect mixture of protein carbs and electrolytes to help you refuel rehydrate and build muscle in Wisconsin athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk and you can too to learn more visit winwithchocolatemilk.com 
final days of Nissan's Bottom Line Summer Event. Now save big with 0% for up to 72 months on 13 models and no payments for 90 days. Plus, get up to 3,000 bonus cash or zero in on a low $189 per month lease on road. Hurry, offers end soon. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! The Badger Sports Report is presented by Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on Badger game days. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Presented by Zimbrick European. Test drive the all new E-Class at Zimbrick European today. By UW Health, UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time now for this week's installment of the Great Dane Great Question of the Week. And for this week's question, we turn it to the Badger players. So the question is, what NFL players do you like watching and why? Um, I mean, I guess I would say Aaron Rodgers just because he's my favorite. Uh, he's my favorite quarterback on my favorite team. Uh, I don't know if necessarily looking up to him, but I mean, I appreciate what he does for the Packers. My favorite and the one I look up to the most is Derek Watt. Um, he's the one I know the best, and um, he's a guy I really, you know, look, want to be like when I grow up. <laughs> um, you know, obviously he's a rookie right now, but just you know, seeing him start right now, he's definitely handled his business, you know, how any fullback would want to. Julio Jones, uh, I feel like he's a great receiver, big receiver, he's fast, and I love how he, he works his routes and creates separation. We thank Jim for his question. The Great Dane with four locations in Madison on the east side of town, downtown, as well as Fitchburg and Hilldale. Coach Chris has his radio show most Thursday nights during the season at the Great Dane Hilldale, and there is a Great Dane up in Wausau as well. The Badgers have their home opener coming up on Saturday at Camp Randall Stadium, a 2.30 kickoff against Akron from the Mid-American Conference. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. It's no secret Quick Trip has the fresh food you need every day. From chips and buns to ripe produce and... Hey, buddy. You cooking out? Yeah, I am. Well, then you're gonna need brats, hamburger, hot dogs. <laughs> you bet. Premium fresh meat, now at Quick Trip. Right now, Johnsonville brats, two packages for $7. Premium meats at your neighborhood Quick Trip. You saved me a trip. Hey, wait for me. With this level of intelligence, it's a supercomputer. With this grade of protection, it's a fortress. And with this standard of luxury, it's an oasis. Introducing the completely redesigned E-Class 4MATIC. It's everything you need it to be, and more. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. There are 5,757,564 residents of the state of Wisconsin. At Pick and Safe, we're proud to be here for every one of them. Keeping the quality up and the prices down. Because 14,023 of those Wisconsinites are us. Pick and Safe, where Wisconsin saves on groceries.